Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I have this project called Cypress Grab, and it allows anyone to selectively run tests either by grabbing their title, by passing the grab string, or by using tags, but let's not worry about the tags right now. A lot of people complain to me for issues and personally that all the specs are executing regardless of the grab tag. Here's how it happens. So I have this little project and I installed Cypress Grab already, which means I included it in the plugin file, which is optional installation, but it helps. And the main thing is to include Cypress Grab from the support file. And now let's say I have a couple of spec files. So in spec one, I have a couple of describe blocks and a couple of tests. In spec two, I have another describe block and the test called loads. Third spec has loads and let's say again. Four has just four describe and test works and works too. And the spec five has the same tests. So let's say I want to only run the tests with, well, let's say, the string loads in the title. I can do this, no problem. I can say npx cypress run. And I can pass the graph string through environment variables that any plugin or test read. So let's say equals loads. The plugin file that runs in node says that it will only run tests with loads in their title. So what specs did it find? Well, it found all these five, four, and so on. So first it runs, runs alphabetically five. And notice that none of the tests have loads in the title. So both tests are pending. If you don't understand why it's pending and not skip, read my blog post about test statuses. With spec 4, the same situation happens. There are a couple tests, but both are pending because they don't have loads in their title. One has no loads, and then we have a third JS that has a test called loads again. And this test is executed, and it's passing, and the same thing with the two JS. It has a test with loads in the title. So we ran all five specs, but the first three were skipped. And imagine in a real situation, you would have longer specs, the bonding would take time just to load them, and then you have video encoding, browser has to open, and so on. So many people complain that it would be nice if you know which, you know, let's say tag or grab title to use, you should avoid actually running the first three specs because they don't have the word title or text title, um, text loads in their title. So here's how I would implement it. And you can implement it right now the way I'll show it. And I plan to actually add it to the Cypress Grab plugin itself so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so first I want to show you the relevant configuration for dealing with files. And the way I want to show it is by first opening Cypress in the interactive mode, because it will give you an idea of what, of where to look. So the default view in Cypress shows all the specs. Uh, there are runs, but I haven't connected to the dashboard, so there are no runs. But if you look at settings, you have a couple of tabs. The first one is configuration. All the settings that control Cypress behavior are listed here. And, you know, the browsers that it detected, client certificate, uh, end -to -end, you know, uh, environment variables, all that jazz. So the first kind of relevant information is this one, ignore test files. Uh -huh, so that's interesting. Uh, integration folder, where we're looking for spec files. And finally, the last one, the test files pattern. And right now, this is by default, so in using purple color. Uh, Cypress marks the default values. Now you can control the test files from command line. You can control it from Cypress JSON. So if you do, for example, test files and instead of a default, you say, I only want to run the first uh, uh, one JS. Now this will reload. Notice the test file is now one JS. And if you look at the list of tests, it only has this file or exit you can say one and two JS. And so what happens in this case? Well, if you run in the same parameters, it will only look at one and two JS. Well, 
uh, we cannot do it like this. It has to be an array of strings. Okay, let's try now. Okay, so we can limit which specs we consider by varying the, the test files. Okay, so that's interesting. Now let's go back to our plugins file. So the same config that we've seen in the Cypress GUI is available right here. So let's say we print it, console log config. And this is a large object because all the settings that we've seen are going to be reflected there. But let's just look at this for a second. Okay, so all the settings, including the browsers, the uh, integration folder, the test files are available in the plugin at the start. And we can change it, right? So we can do the same thing. We can say config test files equals 1.js, 2.js. And for this to actually work, we have to return the config file. Okay, so this will change the test files list and just return the updated list and Cypress can use it. Okay, so I close this. Here's what we can do first. First, I will print relevant information that we need for finding the spec files and processing them and changing the list based on our grep parameter. We're going to be looking in the integration folder. So I will print this parameter, integration folder, and then the test files that I already have shown and also ignore test files just for kicks. These are three parameters that control how Cypress finds the spec files to run. So if I run it right now, it will print just those values. Okay, so this is what we need. The second thing we need to do is inside the environment object, find the grep parameter. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. We can say const grep equals config and environment is just an object inside. So it will say grep. And so if there is no grep, we do nothing, right? I mean, we allow the default behavior. We only have to worry about finding which spec file, one, two, you know, all, all those things have for this uh, string in the title. Okay, so first we need to actually find the spec files ourselves. Cypress only tells us, hey, I'm going to be looking using these parameters. Inside the integration folder, I will look for spec files using this wildcard mask. Okay, so if we want to do the same to get the list of specs first, we need to use something like Globby. So I already have Globby installed in this project, right? I'm using version 11 because that's the one before ESM. So here what I can do, I can import Globby or require Globby. Now I can use it to find all the test files. Okay, so my full list of specs can use Globby. I can do asynchronous processing or synchronous, doesn't really matter. But I'm looking using the wildcard pattern Inside the integration folder, I can ignore what Cypress would ignore. And I don't need absolute file names. I just need the file names inside the integration folder. So let's print those. And I'm going to use the console table to print them nicely. OK, so let's say I pass the grep. OK, the globby runs. And inside the integration, it finds five files. Perfect. Now, I need to actually look inside each file and I have to see if the test names or describe names have relevant grep string, because then we can let the Cypress grep plugin match or not. So how do I look at the Mocha or Cypress um, spec file and find the names of every test, like loads again and every describe? Well, for this, I've written this plugin it's a standalone utility, like a standalone NPM module called find test names. You install it, you get a single um, function, you give it the source code of the spec, and it gives you the names of the suits, described blocks, and the names of tests. It doesn't even put them in a structure, it just gives you a list of names. So here's what we can do in our plugin file. We can grab the get test names, but we also need to read the files because the find test names just uh, accepts the source code. By the way, if you want to verify that it works, it includes a bin utility. So we can say find test names 
Cypress integration, let's say one. And it tells that inside one were a couple of describe blocks and two tests. One is called visits, another is called works one, which I believe is correct. Okay, so here's what we will have to do. We will say specs with text and we'll take all the spec files and we're going to filter, right? First, we need to read the source code from the spec file, right? And notice how the spec file is relative to the integration folder. So we're going to read it. And then we can say all the names uh, can be found. And this will have describe names and test names. So what we will do now, we'll say, okay, uh, there are suit names, and if some of them is has uh, the grab string, then return true, but also uh, there are tests, so we accept both. So we will filter all the specs by looking at their source code, finding the names of all describe blocks, all test uh, names, and then seeing if any test name includes the grab, and we only have positive grab in this case. Okay. So once we found it, let's print them. Okay, uh, found, uh, let's say, in, in specs, and we'll just uh, print the grab string, and we'll print the names of the specs with text. And the best thing, these are just file names inside the integration folder, so we can set the test files to that filtered list. Okay, let's see how this works all together. So I'm going to run Cypress with uh, grab equals loads, okay? So notice it took all the five files, spec files, and found which test names have loads in the title, which is just those two uh, JavaScript uh, specs, and it only running both specs, and so each one has uh, a test that is running. And let's uh, maybe take, you know, third, it has the, um, test that has loads, right? But we'll add one more test just to make sure that the grep is working inside the third JS file. Okay, so it's still running those two spec files. And now notice that it correctly determined that loads again has to run and works doesn't. So this is how I would implement um, initial spec file filtering to be compatible with Cypress grep. And I will add this feature into the Cypress grep itself. We will uh, just look at the integration folder and the test file mask, find all the spec files. We'll filter them by what they contain inside. And what get test names just looks at the AST of the code. So of course it's not foolproof, but it's good enough. And when we set the config test files, which used to be a wildcard to just the list of filtered specs, and we return this config so it's used by Cypress and only all those specs are executed in a filtered mode. So stay tuned, watch for a new Cypress grab release with this feature.